For two glorious years, I'd been touring my one-woman show, The Pink Hulk, one woman's journey to find the superhero within that I wrote and star in, traveling across the US and internationally. It chronicles my empowering journey as a two-time cancer survivor. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, then breast cancer 15 years later. It's my greatest accomplishment next to being cancer free. At the play's end, I simulate crossing the finish line after a 40 mile bike marathon yelling, I beat you cancer, I did it, I won. During my final bow at a New York performance, I felt that familiar pain in the left side of my chest. The applause is deafening and my body is screaming in pain. I smile, but behind that smile is terror. I know, I know then that <sighs> the Pink Hulk has a second act and I don't want one. Where is my superhero now? Will I find a third superhero from within? Is it lymphoma again or breast cancer? I call the survivorship department. I have cancer again. The nurse reassures me it's probably a pulled chest muscle. I know it's not. Mammogram results show a new spot in the same quadrant. A subsequent MRI reveals new lesions in the chest, explaining my extreme pain, and then a PET scan. That appointment finishes at 4.30 p.m. My call time is 6 p.m. at Theater Row on 42nd Street, as the Pink Hulk is a finalist in a play festival. I would brought my costume and suitcase of props, and in the bathroom of MSK's nuclear medicine department, I apply makeup and I don my costume. Not the dressing room I'd imagined for the Pink Hulk's off-Broadway debut. As I exit, the staff cheers and wishes me good luck. Dr. Gabriella D'Andrea, my oncologist, tells me the show must go on. And it does. I perform as if nothing happened. I am a damn good actress. The PET scan lights up three areas. I'm devastated. Not again. Two days later, after having three biopsies, and with Dr. DeAndrea's blessing, I fly to Portland, Oregon to perform The Pink Hulk. Now recovered from those biopsies, my show opens that night, and I awake that morning praying, please, I don't want to find out that I have cancer again today. And as I'm walking toward the Portland Theater, my cell rings and that familiar MSK number pops up. <laughs> Fuck! God. I reluctantly answer. Dr. DeAndrea tells me, it's invasive lobular carcinoma and they're waiting for a full report. She is comforting and she wishes me well on my opening. The show must go on. And again, I pretend nothing's happened. I deserve a Tony. The lines, I beat you, cancer, I did it, I won, become increasingly hard to say. I return to New York, totally devastated. I cry every day. I awake and I go to bed with this nightmare. As a solace, I sleep with my teddy bear prop from the Pink Hulk. I'm so angry. And like Marvel's Hulk character who wouldn't come out in Avengers Infinity War, my pink Hulk isn't coming out either. I'm terrified. The final report comes in. It's not good. That evening, I, I sit at a table in the bustling heart of Times Square's pedestrian plaza. It's my favorite safe spot. As I stare at the New Year's Eve ball, I wonder, nearly 20 years after my lymphoma diagnosis, if I'll make it. There's no place that I'd rather be but under the glowing lights of Broadway. This 
is where I need to tell my parents that cancer has returned. So I call and I matter-of-factly say, there's a problem. The breast cancer's back and has spread to the bones. It's metastatic, stage four. There's an eerie, unnerving calmness. This time, no tears, just shock and sadness in their voices. As we discuss details, my parents' responses sound as if they're answering whether they prefer pepper jack or provolone on a Subway sandwich. And stage four? My lymphoma was stage three, and my original breast cancer was stage two. Now I've jumped to stage four? It's considered incurable. I try to process this. I don't like the words metastatic or stage four. I'm reframing it. I won't call this stage four, but stage Valerie. I'm empowered to name it what I want. I begin to hulk out, and I find the superhero within yet again. And my friends and family rally around me too. And as I take that first oral chemo pill, I sit at Earth Cafe on West 98th and Broadway, where I wrote the Pink Hulk, ready to start the second act, determined for this new, improved version to again tour the world.